Banshot, Shenchan, Renzen, Ganchao, and additional Ganchang, Jinju, Shen Jinju, that means Banshot, Shen Shintang. If you remove Huangyang and Chai Gu and remove Ganchang, Xiao Chai Gu Tang. If you remove Chai Gu and also Huang Chin Tu, instead of Shenchang, if you add Ganchang, this is Huangyang Tang. Hello everyone, Dr. Choi is here. Welcome to my formula class. Today we will talk about Xiao Chai Gu Tang family. There are many variations from Xiao Chai Gu Tang. When we understand Xiao Chai Gu Tang, there are two different side of herbs. There are two different side of herbs. First one is Chai Hu, Huang Chen, and Huang Yan. And next, Ban Sha, Ren Shen, and Shen Chang. As you can see here, one part is red and another part is blue. Blue means it, they have cold property, and red means they have warming property. Chai Hu clears heat and releases exterior. It is just like antipyretics. And Huang Chen clears heat and also subside inflammation and dry dampness. But Huang Yun, this herb, is another herb which clears heat and dry dampness, just like Huang Qin. But in Sanghanan period, the action of Huang Yun is disputable, controversial. So, the father of Japanese traditional Chinese medicine, the Yoshima Todo, once said Huang Yun is not clearing heat herb, but Huang Yun is the herb clear the chest, removing blockage on the chest. And you will see why this Huang Yun is interpreted in different way when you understand Xiao, Chai Hutang family. And Ban Sha, remove flam with Shen Chang. So this is a paired herb. Remove flam and warms middle jiao. And Ren Shen, uh, it is controversial too. In modern TCM, we think Ren Shen has warming property and tonifying qi herb. In Sanghanan period, Ren Shen is a little bit different from nowadays. Uh, first of all, Ren Shen was usually classified as a cooling herb. Yeah, of course, there are different species of Ren Shen in China especially in Han Dynasty. In these days, we mostly use Korean ginseng, which has very warming property. But in Han Dynasty, there was no Korean ginseng. So it is arguable too. And let's draw the line here. So we have cooling side of and warming side of herbs. First, let's remove Huang Yan, and Ban Sha, Shen Chang, and Ren Shen, and Gan Zhao. This is Xiao Chai Hu Tang. So it treats Xiao Yang symptom, Xiao Yang symptom, in the middle between Tai Yang and Yang Ming. And this is commonly used formula for clearing heat. Once we remove Chai Hu and add Huang Yang. So Huang Yang, Huang Qin. So Chai Hu is removed, Huang Yang and Huang Qin. Ban Zhang, Ren Zhen, Shen Chang, Gan Zhao is the same. But in this case, Gan Zhang is added to Shen Chang. So dried ginger and raw ginger both are added. It looks like warmer and it looks like colder. But actually this formula is commonly used for functional dyspepsia. Not antipyrex like Xiao Chai Hu Tang with Chai Hu. So it is kind of counterintuitive. So it is actually warming formula than Xiao Chai Hu Tang. So in modern TCM doctors interpret this as a clearing heat in the chest and warm middle jaw. That makes sense to a different interpretation. So this is Ban Sha Xie Xin Tang. Ban Sha Xie Xin Tang. Once you remove Huang Qin and leaving Gan Zhang and remove Shen Zhang, so warmer, getting warmer, and less cooler. Some TCM doctors do not think this one has a cooling herb. Then this is actually warming formula. And this formula is used for gastrointestinal symptoms, especially vomiting and nausea. So you can see, this is the family of Ban Sha Xie Tang without Huang Qin and Shen Zhang. And let's remove Huang Yan and add Chai Hu and Huang Qin, just like Xiao Chai Hu Tang. Ban Sha, Ren Zhen, instead of Gan Zhang and Shen Zhang. Xiao Chai Hu Tang. Let's remove Gan Zhao and instead of Gan Zhao, let's add Da Zhao, Gui Qi, and Fu Ling. So warming herbs with the Gui Qi and Da Zhao. And let's add two additional key herbs here. Those are Mu Li and Longu. Mu Li and Longu. And they calm Shen. So this formula is used for calming Shen, mental problems. And one more additional herb, and a cold side, Da Huang. So clear, damp heat. So this side warms and this side cools. And this formula is called Chai Hu Jia. Add with Longu Mu Li Tang. Chai Hu Jia Longu Mu Li Tang. And commonly used formula for mental problems. And let's remove all this. And let's make this Xiao Chai Hu Tang. And in this case, Let's remove Chai Hu again, add Huang Yan. Just like Ban Sha Xie Xin Tang. If you add Gan Zhang, this is Ban Sha Xie Xin Tang. But in this case, let's remove all this warming side. And Er Zhao and Ban Shao. So all kind of cooling herbs. Er Zhao, add water, tonify blood and in. So this formula tonifies in and also clears heat. One additional formula is egg yolk. So all this egg yolk, Er Zhao and Ban Shao tonifies in. So this formula tonifies in and clear damp heat. And modern TCM doctors interpret this formula as a cooling excessive 
heat and tonifying indeficiency. That makes sense too. But in original Sanghano text, this formula is used for heart irritability, heavy sensation on the heart. So Huangnian can be interpreted as herb removing and clearing chest. And this formula is called Huangnian and Urchou. Huangnian, Urchou. Huangnian, Urchou Tang. If you add, instead of Urchou and Baishou, Bansha, Shenchang, Renzen, Ganchou, and additional Ganchang, Jinju, Sheng Jinju, that means Bansha, Shen Shen Tang. If you remove Huangnian and add Chai Hu, and remove Ganchang, Xiao Chai Hu Tang. If you remove Chai Hu, and also Huang Chin too, and instead of Shenchang, if you add Ganchang, this is Huangnian Tang. Okay, I hope you like the lecture. See you later.